But when it comes to blow dryers, aren't they really like all kind of the same? No, no, they're not, girl. Let's talk about it. So she's wanting some details about a negative ion versus a plasma blow dryer. Like, what is that all about, right? What are these big words that we're talking about when we're talking about drying our hair? These dryers are from Tideway. I'm a hairstylist and these are, hands down, my favorite blow dryers I've ever used and I've tried a lot of them. So this is the Tideway Titanium. It has what's called a negative ion emitter. On top of it being a super high speed, low heat blow dryer, this produces healthier blowouts. This negative ion emitter is really important and I need you to know why. So our hair is naturally positively based. So by producing negative ions, it's neutralizing that charge. What that's doing is it's helping reduce frizz and add shine. These negative ions are also gonna get in your hair and they're gonna break down the water molecules, which is speeding up the blow dry. So this is the Tideway Aura. This is their upgraded version. So this has a plasma emitter and what that does is it produces positive and negative ions. So it has all the benefits of the ionic blow dryer, but with more. With the dual action of it having positive and negative ions, it's actually really gonna help with static electricity. Since it has the negative ions, it's also gonna help break down those water molecules to speed up the blow dry, but it's also gonna actually mix with the oxygen and it's gonna create a protective layer on your hair, which is gonna help retain and lock in moisture. So an ionic dryer is gonna focus on negative ions. A plasma dryer is gonna focus on positive and negative ions. An ionic dryer is gonna primarily focus on closing those cuticles and reducing frizz while a plasma dryer is gonna do those things on top of reducing static electricity and retaining moisture. So both Tideway hair dryers are fabulous blow dryers if you're looking for a healthy blow dry. Both of them are high speed. Both of them require low heat for a fast blow dry. The Aura, the upgrade has a self cleaning option. Both of them weigh about one pound, so they're nice and lightweight. And both of them are relatively quiet for how powerful they are. Both of them have cords that are about six feet long. Both of them are gonna come with a concentration nozzle, which is very important when blow drying. But the Aura is also gonna come with a diffuser. Unfortunately, the titanium diffuser is currently sold out. So I hope this was helpful and not just overwhelming, but I personally love to talk about the science behind our hair tools, our hair products, and all the things. So I hope you found it beneficial, but if you have any other questions, be sure to let me know. But the links are down below. I hope you have a fabulous hair day.